This phone call blew my mind. I want you to listen to it very, very carefully. It sounds like an ordinary call at first, but trust me, the twist at the end is worth it. Good evening. Hello? Hello. Hi. Um, I'd like to reserve a table for Friday the 3rd. Okay, hold on one moment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on one second. Mm-hmm. So Friday, November 3rd, how many people? Four, two people. Two people? Yeah. What time? At 5 p.m. Okay. And your name? The first name is Daniel. That's D-A-N-I-E-L. Okay. You're all set. Okay, great. Thanks. We'll see you next Friday. Okay, thank you. Bye. So did you pick up on anything unusual there? Because as it turns out, the guy in that phone call is a robot. Specifically, Google Assistant. Specifically, you can ask your Google Assistant on your phone or your Google Home to make a reservation for you and it can call and do it. And that's what it sounds like. Holy smokes. So think about the implications here. There was ums and ahs. There were pauses in it. It sounded natural back and forth. You could tell it was a robot just a little bit because there was a little bit of formality to the phrasing where there might not have been otherwise, but it sounded like a human. That is so cool. And it could do more than just make a reservation at a set time. It can actually work with more complex tasks if you give it a range. Listen to the second phone call. How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. So again, that was a robot. How awesome is that? It was able to adapt to a different time request. It was able to remember what type of hair appointment you wanted. It was able to do all of that just like it was your human secretary. It's a leap, right? It's a moonshot, and we have the same questions you do. It's what happens when it hits an extension? What happens if it can't recognize the voice of the person it's talking to? What if the person's particularly verbose or implicit in their language? What happens if it gets put on hold? So what we know is that at the start, This thing is gonna be made for simple tasks, making a reservation, making an appointment, and anything more complex than that, it's going to know it's not going to be able to do. In other words, it's gonna be self-aware, and that's why it's gonna have this training center in place. The robot is trying to make a call and unable to complete it. It will get kicked to a call center for a human to finish up, log the error, and then hopefully complete it back to you. So I obviously think this thing is so dang cool, but you have to take this plate of awesomeness and let's add one one scoop of creepy to the top and another heaping scoop of skepticism. All we heard was that demo. We didn't see a live demo. There's still a lot of features they need to iron out. It's really cool in theory, and it is such a huge step over what assistants can do now, and you heard it. It sounds almost like an actual person. So I'm hoping this is as good as we want it to be, and I suppose we're going to see for ourselves pretty soon. Goodbye.